to stand with our backs to the wall. We're doing a Pilates class. I just want you to stretch out first. Let's do a Pilates mat, a V shape, heels together, toes a little bit apart. In this position, gently bend your knees and press your knees out, out. Notice your buttocks work now, right? You feel your bum? And now with your leg, flatten your back. If you need to move your feet a little further out, you want that lower back flat on the mat, right? Now clasp your hands, fingers, stretch them in front of you, pull your shoulders forward, but keep your back on the mat. Now stretch the arms up stretch your elbows, pull up, check that every part of your back is connected. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bring the hands back down. Undo and change the clasp. So the opposite fingers. I hope you changed. Did you pay attention? Turn the hands out. Most everybody messes up and does the same hands again. Stretch your shoulders away from the wall, but keep your upper back on the wall ribs on the wall, stomach back on the wall, and lift, and lift, lift, lift. See if you can stretch your elbows a little bit more, tighten them, pull the shoulders up to the ears, suck your belly up, and relax down. Whoo! Now, we will do something called roll down to get articulation in the spine. So keep your feet pushing your back into the mat, drop your head to your chin, your chin to your chest, Roll your shoulders a little bit forward. Keep your legs pushing your back into the mat. Roll a little bit down to come to the base of your rib cage and round your back. Feel like you have 10 pound weights in your hands and they're pulling down. Keep your stomach pulled in. Roll down a little bit more to your waist. Feel how much your back is being stretched. Roll down just to the base of your pelvis. No more than that. Now, imagine those weights in your hand. Keep rolling down, rolling down, rolling down, rolling down, rolling down. Head drops. Your back is round. Your stomach is pulling up. Go as low as you want to go. And now we reverse it. Start rolling up. Feel the tail rolling under. Slowly press your base of your spine into the wall. Waist into the wall. You're doing your best, ribs into the wall, chest into the wall. Now stretch your arms up to the ceiling, up to the wall. Keep your back flat if you can. Do the best to keep your spine long and straight. Bring the arms down. One more time, drop your head, shoulders round, ribs round, stomach is lifting all the time. Start rolling down, rolling down, rolling down, rolling down, rolling down, rolling down. Reach with the arms. Now scoop your belly and start dragging up. The belly is pulling you up like you have a belt, pulling you back to the wall. And then you slowly wind the body upwards. Lift the arms up. Stretch up. Pull your stomach in tiny, tiny waist. Bring the arms all the way down to the floor. Very, very good. Let's come on to the mat. These are just little warm-up exercises before we start the traditional mat work. So lie down on your backs with your knees bent for a little bit of core work. So your knees are bent. Your back is flat into the mat if you can. The most important thing when you feel your back down is don't go so flat in your middle back that your tail comes up. You need the whole spine touching. If you don't, can't make everything touch, do your best. If, notice that your abs are firm and you have a little waist on your uh, little tiny waist, pulling the muscles in. Lift your right knee up, put it back down. Left knee up, put it back down. Right knee up, put it back down. Left knee up, put it back down. Keep notice and keep going. And notice that your pelvis is very quiet. Nothing is moving. Just the legs while you stabilize the pelvis with your powerhouse, which is your stomach. Now we're adding on right knee up, left knee up, right foot down, left foot down, right knee up, left knee up, right foot down, left foot down. Now reverse it, left knee up, right knee up, left foot down. Nothing's moving. The pelvis is steady and quiet and just the legs 
are working now. Feet together, knees together, take your arms over your head. Now we do upper core all the way, stretch the arm through the fingers and lift the arms up, curl forward. Notice how your low back presses in the direction of the floor, the belly pulls up. Lower back down and reach. Bring the arms up and curl. Lower back down and reach. Lift back up and curl. Feel the ribs glide to the waist. Lower back down and reach. Lift back up and curl. Put your hands down. Now, head back down. Again, tiny waist. Tight your buttocks a little bit. Squeeze them towards each other. Lift both knees up towards your chest. And then pull your belly in as you lower your feet down to the mat. Lift the knees up. Keep your back from moving. Lower back down. If it's moving, just fix it every time. It takes time to master the deep abdominals. And down. One more time. Lift. Lower down, lower down. Keep your back flat as you go. Now we add upper core and lower core. Reach the arms over your head like you did a minute ago. Lift the arms up, lift your head and chest. Bring your knees in, pull your navel up. Lower back down. Notice upper core and lower core moving together like a cord pulling your body parts towards each other. Lower back down and reach. Lift back up and curl. Lower back down and reach. And lift back up and curl. Bring the hands to the mat, feet to the mat, head to the mat. Very nice. Now we start the traditional mat work. The first exercise is called a hundred. We're just going to focus on the breath work here to begin with. Lift your head and chest and stretch your arms forward. So you're in an upper ab core. Now take a deep breath in and on the out breath through your mouth, breathe out as long as you can. <sighs> squeeze your diaphragm, squeeze your belly. All the air comes out when you can't do any more. Big breath in. And breathe out. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Longer than you think you can. So you really feel that contraction. And again, breathe in. And one more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lower your hands and your head to the mat. So when we're doing the hundreds, which we will do in a minute, you will also be pumping your hands. And we will only do five pumps in inhalation, exhalation, but you do your best to squeeze your belly that much when you are breathing out. So bring the knees to tabletop, curl your head and chest up, reaching the arms long and start pumping energetically with the arms, breathing in, two, three, four, five, exhale, three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, exhale, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, exhale, three, four, Five, four, two, three, four, five. Slowly float the legs. Two, straight. Five, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Three, four, five. Turn the legs into a V. Tighten your buttocks. Four, five, eight, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Three, four, five, nine, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Three, four, five. Last one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend your knees. Head down. Feet down. You finished the hardest part of the exercise of the class. Congratulations. <laughs> Take your arms over your head and roll up to a sitting position. Very good. Hold behind the knees. Most basic roll back. Lift your back up nice and long. And just like you did a minute ago, start rounding your back, pulling your stomach in, and just rolling back till you can feel your sacrum under you. Just here, use your belly to bring yourselves back up and lift up tall. Roll down again, scooping your navel, rounding your back, rolling back, tucking your pelvis under you. Roll back up and sit up tall. Let's see if we can do this without hands. Roll down again, just the same halfway down. Feel the abs curl, use that powerhouse to bring you back up. Roll back again. Curving and rolling back up. This time we roll to the floor. Roll down, 
lowering your spine onto the mat one bone at a time. Stretch your arms over your head. Bring the arms up again. Scoop your belly. Can you peel off the mat to roll up? Nice work. Up you come. Sometimes you have to fight for it. <laughs> roll down again. Roll, 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 roll. Reach and curl your head and chest. Tuck your tail and up. So little suggestion. If you're struggling, it's a matter of time, but it's totally fine. If you feel there's no way you're going to come up, grab and peel up from here. So let's try. Let's. I was just so from yesterday. That's why. Oh, is that why? Okay. Let's do it now. So roll back down all the way to the mat. Stretch your arms over your head. Bring the arms up. Lift your head and chest and reach toward your thighs. And then see if you can make that. Uh, per back and pause. Very good. That was good. Say again. <laughs> now that's a really, really interesting point because remember yesterday we discussed body weight. Let's try you just once with your legs straight. This is not something I would do in class, but for you, let's have you roll down with your legs straight. All the way down, very nice. Stretch your arms over your head. Bring the arms back up and good for you for using your belly. So you're still a little bit, it takes time. You, most beginners do that. The legs pop, but I also feel that your upper body is so heavy because you've made muscle that it pulls a bit. But let, I want you to round more. Lift your head and chest, round even more. Really curl in, curl in, curl in right there and come up. And that's fine. That's the process. Everybody goes through these stages of developing more flexibility, more deep muscle control. It's all good. You're both good. Okay, single leg circles. Lie down on your back. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you had, okay. If you had a pillow, it would be a bit. No, just take the block. Take the block. Take the block for now, because I want us to do a forty-five minute class. Yes, we're going to get very luxurious by the time we're done here, and then you won't need anything. <laughs> so on your back, feel your scoop your belly in and up. Tighten your buttocks towards each other. Feel your hamstrings starting to wrap towards each other. Without changing that, all of that muscular connection, lift your right leg up towards the ceiling. Now, remember, slight external rotation by working your buttocks even more. Keep that shape. Circle around your hip. One. Circle two. Circle three. Nothing is moving. You're holding your powerhouse steady. And five, reverse it. Circle one, circle two, circle three, circle four, circle five. Hold your leg and stretch it toward you. Give yourself a hamstring stretch. Bend the knee a bit. Stretch the leg. Bend the knee a bit. Whatever you can hold is good. Stretch. One more time. We need to get these muscles nice and long. Straighten. Put the foot down next to the other one. Reconnect your powerhouse, lock your pelvis, lift your left leg up. Slightly turn it out, hold your buttock muscles to do that. Circle one, circle two, circle three, circle four, and five. Reverse it, cross your body. Every time, cross your body two, three, four, five, and bend the foot down next to the other. Stretch your legs out long. Oh my God, I'm glad I have good students. Stretch. Very important. Bend your knee. <laughs> stretch. And good. It takes a team to live life. And stretch. And bend. Very good. Stretch your legs out. Nice and long. Now, right here, feel your heels and press them slightly towards each other so you'll again feel how your buttocks and hamstrings work. And it's like, this is called hugging the midline. 
So you want those, that connection. If you put your hands on your inner thighs, you can feel them active. Yes, everybody feels that? Keep that working, stretch your arms over your head. Bring the arms up, keep that working, build yourself up to an upright position. Yay, very good. Hands by your bottom. Lift your bottom up, bring it to your feel. feet. Hold behind your knees, rolling like a ball is an ex exercise. Round your back, lift your feet up. Pull your thighs as close to in as you can, so you're like a tight little ball. Roll to your shoulders and back up again. Roll and up, hold, 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 hold. Roll back. Roll up, you're massaging all your back muscles. If it's stiff and feels more like a box, you need this desperately. And four. And up. One more time like this. Five. And up, put your feet down, roll back down on the mat. Very good work from here. Make sure you feel how your back is long and flat. Curl your knees into your chest for your series of five these are ab and ab workout for the abs and for the legs hold your ankles take your left hand hold your right knee notice the hand position extend your left leg out pull your right knee in curl your chest up switch your legs and curl and switch 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 bring both knees in head on the mat rest your head for a minute keep the legs in notice how nice and flat your back feels samani pull your knees even closer to your chest that that's good for you you see how your back went even flatter should feel comfortable yes yeah so just let yourself also easier to drop the abdominals in very good place for you that, yes, she, if she's not going up, you are. Um, sometimes it's okay to pull, like rolling like a ball, you want yes. that. But for her, she's very archy, yes. so a little bit more in gets her flat. Mm -hmm. And it also helps just relax the back. Now, our next one, just to learn the arm movement, take your arms over your head, not to the floor by your ears, circle the arms around and bring them to your ankles. Lift your head and chest up. Take your hands to the ears. Circle them like a big circle to the ankles. Now we do the leg. The legs go out straight and together at the same time. Arms and legs. Big circle with the arms. Hug your legs in. Arms and legs stretch. Big circle. Your back should stay flat the whole time. You're only doing this with your abs holding your trunk. Two more times like that. Stretch and curl and stretch and curl. Head down on the mat. Relax for a minute. Lift your legs up for scissors. Soft feet. Curl your head and chest up. Use your abs to lift up. Take your right leg pull, and pull it towards your left leg away from you. Pull, pull. Scissor the legs. Pull, pull. Sit the legs, hamstring stretch, hamstring stretch, pull, 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 both legs up, head down, relax, elbows, hands clasp behind your head, elbows on the floor, now use your core to lift everything up, now float the legs away from you, keep your back on the mat, only the abs do this, lift the legs. Lower down. If your back is coming off, you're going to far and lift. And lower. And lift. Two more times. Lower. And lift. Lower. And lift. Bend your knees, feet down, head down. Stretch your legs out. Stretch your arms out. Let your back do anything it wants to. And just pull everything apart. Feel like you're just waking up in your morning and you're giving yourself a nice, good, Juicy stretch. To come up, feel the heels touching each other like you had them a minute ago. Hug the midline to so a Pilates V with the legs. Bring the arms to the ceiling. Peel yourself up off the mat. Very good. Let's pop our bottoms back a bit. And open your feet just a little wider than your mat. 
or spine stretch forward. So the legs are kind of relaxed. You just kind of let them flop right now. This is just a stretch out. Take a breath in, lift your back. And on the out breath, walk your hands forward and round your back. See how much you can go forward. Some people pancake, some people don't. Roll back up and sit up tall. And again, forward, 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 round. Roll back up and lift. One more time. Forward, 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 round. Roll back up to lift. So that's a stretchy version. The next option is really working in your core. Lift your back up, pull your stomach up, and as you go forward, pull your belly backwards, like someone's grabbing your waist and pulling back while you are rounding forward. Drop your head down between your arms. Roll back up, shoulders drop down, head lifts. Lift the spine, start rounding forward. Imagine you have a big beach ball in front of you and you're draping over the ball. Go a little bit deeper. Roll back up and sit up tall. Lift, 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 lift. One more time. Round, reach, go. And roll back up. Sit up tall, sit up tall, sit up tall. Relax your hands down. Flex your feet. Clasp your hands. We're going to stretch out the side. Body hands behind your head. Lift up the spine. Everything lifted. Rotate to the left. Right hand down towards your right knee, left knee, elbow up, up, up. Open up the left ribs, the left waist, and come back. Lift the spine, rotate the other direction, and bring your left elbow down, right elbow up, 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 up. Pull the right elbow back to open up that side body, and come back up. Lift. This gives you a beautiful waist, so it's good to do. Twist. Squeeze the right waist and stretch the left side. Come back up, lift, twist, reach. Come back up, twist, lift. One more time, twist, down and up. Twist, down and up. Very good. Arms to the side for saw. Flex your feet, lift your back up, rotate to the left. Notice my back arm is going down. My thumb is down. My fingers are back. Pull the arms apart like a bow and arrow. Now reach towards your little toe and pulse three times. Reach, reach, reach. Roll back, lift your back up in the middle. Twist to the right. Left, right hand behind you. Pull the right hand back. Go. One, two, three, and open. Twist. One, two, three and open twist one two three flex your feet even more two three and lift twist and one and two and three and lift legs together arms long roll down onto the mat roll onto your belly for swan prep, preparation for swan dive. For right now, let's have your feet a little bit apart, but instead of having your toes in and your heels out, see if you can take your heels and move them towards each other. Notice how your bottom starts to work. That's it. Now, Solani, for you especially, press down. Yes, it's like, your, think of your sacrum pushing uh, and if it's too much, you don't do it. <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> and if anything feels, yeah, 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 yeah. Do the best you want to do. <laughs> Both hands under your forehead. Now, you anchor the sacrum and lift your head and chest up. Lower back down. Lift. So notice your whole back muscles are firing, especially your upper back. And lift. And down. And lift, and down, and lift, and down. Now, reach your arms in front of you. Keep pressing your hips down. Pull your belly in and slide up. So you're using your lats. Now, as best you can, you try and lift your belly up without the hips coming off. Yeah, 
So nice, tall, lifted, open chest. Bring your heels toward each other now. And bend your right foot and kick twice. Soften the toes or you may cramp. Kick, kick, and one. Kick, kick, and one. Kick, kick, and two. Kick, kick, and two. Kick, kick, and three. Kick, kick, and three. Kick, kick, and four. Kick, kick, and four. Kick, kick, and five. Kick, kick, and five. Now turn your hands. What's that? Kick, kick, and one. Kick, kick, and one. So it's one, one, two, two, three, three. And I'm just, it's a double kick each time. Yeah? Okay. So now let's all of us turn our head to the wall this way. You put your ear down, this is just so you can see what I'm doing. Both hands are behind your waist. Notice that I'm clasping my fingers and with one hand, the other. And then once your hand's on the waist, press your elbows towards the floor. Keep your feet together. Anchor your pelvis. Bend both knees and kick three times. Kick, kick, and kick. Put the feet down. Shoulders squeeze together. Stretch back. Lift your chest as high as you can go. Very good. Turn your head the other way. Elbows press to the mat. Bend your knees. Kick three times. Kick, kick, kick. Feet down. Stretch. Open the chest and lift. First side again. And kick. Two, three. Feet down. Press and lift. Other side, kick, two, three, feet down, press and lift. First side, kick, two, three, feet down, press and lift. Other side, kick, two, three, feet down, press and lift. Very good. Hands under your shoulders, press up and back towards your heels and go into a child's pose. So you just stretch out your back, drop your head in the direction of the floor, relax everything. Take a big breath in here, breathe out, breathe in, again, breathe out, and now come forward on your hands and knees. This one's called balance controlled front, it's really just like a plank. So. Place your hands right under your shoulders. So make sure your shoulders are over your hands, right? Your knees are under your hips. Watch, let's just arch the spine so you look up and kind of let the waist sag. Now scoop the belly and look in. So that's rounding, now we're in flexion. We did a lot of this before. Come to the middle. So your spine's in neutral, your spine is long and flat. Somewhere in the middle, lift your head and look, gaze a little bit forward. Now we're going into plank, nothing changes in your pelvis or stomach. Step right leg back. Very quiet body, step your left leg back. Hold, both legs back. Hold, 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 hold. Bend your right knee in, bend your left knee in. If your hips are doing salsa, you're not anchoring. Really pull your stomach up. Left leg back, nothing changes. Right leg back, hold, 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 hold. Left knee in, right knee in. First side again, right leg back. Left leg back, hold, 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 hold. Right foot in, left foot in. Last side, left leg, right leg. Hold, 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 hold. And left and right. Very good. Let's have you all face the front for the side leg kicks. So lay yourself out on the back part of your mat. The legs are long. The body is long. So ideally you have feet, bottom, shoulders, and hand all in a straight line. See if you can pike up there. Eventually, you want no space here. At the beginning, if the shoulders are tight, there would be a space. Can, if, if, right. Now, everybody, lift your feet. Bring them to the front of the mat. Put them down. Flex feet. Pull your belly up. Imagine your back is against the wall. Lift your leg up. Flex your foot. 
Imagine me grabbing your ankle and pulling it out and press it down, make it longer than the bottom foot. Lift it up, press it down, squeeze your bottom. Lift it up, press it away, squeeze, lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze. Very good. Imagine your body is like a steel piece. Lift your foot up and this is like a pendulum. You will go to the front, front, front. Now take it down and don't flop, but go to the back. You catch with your bottom, back, back, front, front, back, back, front, front, back, back, front, front, back, back, front, front, back, back, last one, front and back. Legs together, turn the top leg out a little bit. It all has to come from your tush. Swing the leg up, flex, down, kick, and 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 down. Long leg. Feel how the leg is extended out in little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, both legs lift, both legs lower, both legs lift and lower. One more time, lift and lower. Now, let's have you both just roll on your belly and face that direction. So you're going to be on your side. I'm gonna come over to this side and from here, you will lift both feet, bring them to the front of your mat. Put them down, flex your top, both feet up, flex, and you will take your top leg and lift it up a little higher than your hip, press out. Now pull your belly in, belly back, 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 and lower down, yes. Lift up and down and lift and push the leg out of you and lift, flex your foot salami. So you pull the toes to the knees, lift and down. Samani, I'm so sorry. One more time, lift and down. Very good, lift the leg hip height. Bring it to the front, pulse, pulse. Take it to the back, pulse, pulse. Front, front, back, back. Front, front, like a pendulum, back, back. Front, front, back, back. Front, front and back, back. Legs together, turn the top leg out. Point your foot a bit, swing it up high, flex and down, swing and down. Good Samani, swing and <laughs> Miguel, Miguel, swing and down and swing and down. Last one, swing and down. Lift both legs up, lift them and down, lift and down, lift and down. One more time and down. Okay, lovely. Let's have you come on to your backs. Oh, you're absolutely right. Lift the leg up <laughs> twice in a lesson. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, reverse and back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Very good. You did the side leg lifts. Now come onto your backs for teaser. So you will be lying down with your knees bent. We'll start with single leg teaser. Lift your right leg up with the knees glued together. Lift your head and chest like you are for hundreds. Now, peel off the mat and come up. Roll yourself back down. Peel and come up. Roll yourself back down. One more time. Peel yourself and come up. Roll yourself back down. Other leg up. Peel yourself to come up. Roll yourself back down. Peel to come up. Roll yourself back down, peel to come up, 
Roll yourself back down. Bend the knees to the chest. That was great. Take your arms over your head. Lift your legs up. Make a prayer. Take your legs away from you. When up you come. Up. And slowly, 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 slowly down. Arms over your head. This is teaser. And roll yourself up. Roll yourself down. One more time. Roll yourself up. Roll yourself down. That is amazing. It's called teaser because you can't do it, you can't do it, you can't do it, and one day you do it. And you feel it's a tease, and every day your body, you know, our bodies change every day. So, it's like, some days everything clicks in, and then other days you have to work so hard to get it. So, you really feel it with this one. Roll up to a sitting position for seal. Feet are in a, this we call a diamond shape. Hands together. Lift your feet and hook under your ankles. This is, that's very similar to rolling like a ball. Flex, that's it, Samani. Clap, clap, clap. Roll to your shoulders and up again. Roll back, get your bottom up, roll up balance. Clap, clap, clap. Roll back, roll up. Clap, clap, clap. Roll back. And up, good, good. Clap, clap, clap. Two more times. Back and up. Clap, clap, clap. Last one. Back and up. Clap, clap, clap. Very good. Come on up to standing and come back to. So we've done some standing work. We did on our backs. We did sitting, and now we come back to standing. So we can take all of the work. So come up back to the wall again. And in this, we start where you were before. You want your feet out enough that you can really get a sense of the spine being long and lifted against the floor. Now, not all of us, we have different shaped spines. So maybe you can, maybe you can't get your back flat. You do the best you can to get as long and as lifted as possible and the ribs, the low ribs anchored in and the head back. Now, Press your shoulders very slightly towards the wall without losing your back and your, your pulled up stomach. Lift your arms up in front of you. Three circles. One, two, three. Reverse. One, two, three. And then as the arms come down, you feel your back getting longer and taller and more lifted. Now take your arms a little bit higher. Three circles. One, two, three. Reverse, two, three. As you bring the arms down, you lift up. And now we will roll down the way we did at the beginning. Drop your head, start rolling down, peeling off the wall, sliding down. You can soften your knees if you want to, going down, 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 till the fingers are hovering off the floor. Three circles here. Circle, circle, circle. Reverse, two, three, and then roll yourself up. Now, open your feet so they're parallel. Wiggle your feet a little forward. And we're just going to test one. You're going to slide down the wall. And you don't want the knees beyond the toes. They're more like around the heels. And yes, yes, are you having trouble sliding? No, you're doing good. Make sure the knees are out. Now, let's just see if you can slide up easily. Sometimes we have to put a towel behind the back to do that. It's a little bit, <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> now, let's slide down again, and now we lift the arms up. Circle, circle, circle. Reverse, two, three, and roll and scoop your belly. And again, squat, circle, 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 reverse, two, three, and lift and come up. Now going with the arms higher, circle, 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 reverse, two, three, and slide to come up. And again, hands high, circle, 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 reverse, two, three, 
and slide to come up. And then big circles, we haven't done this yet. Take the arms up, see if you can get them to the wall without losing your spine against the wall. Big circle down. Big circle up. Big circle down. Reach forward and up. All the way down. Now reverse it all the way out and up and down. Out and up and down. Out and up and down. Slide all the way up. Bring your feet a little closer to the wall. Take one foot just against the wall. Push yourself up on your feet, away from the wall. Pilates, we just notice for a minute what you feel like. You spent a whole class focusing on your core, focusing on your posture, focusing on the lift in your own body. Take a big breath in and breathe out and just tell yourself you did a great job and keep it for the rest of the day. Good job. So thank you, everybody. My name is Niedra Gabrielle. If you have any questions, any concerns, if you'd like to know more about how Pilates can help you or anything else about your body, please feel free to talk to me anytime. <laughs>